Hey there, how are you doing team? Nokia Pariser here and as you can see I have a Nokia 3 in my hand and this Nokia 3 runs uh, the stable version of Android Audio. So uh, as you can notice uh, this device has recently updated. It has got the April security update along with the, uh, this build number of Android Audio. So HMD has recently announced the rollout of stable Android Audio to Nokia 3. The earlier, I mean, if you had enroll to the beta labs you could have got the beta build so this device was on beta from beta now it is available on uh, uh, now it is like uh, on stable android audio so uh, actually there is not much of difference between uh, beta and stable android audio but there is one thing which is very noticeable and uh, which is not really good is that we had mentioned in our article that if you go to the display you will see this nightlight feature has gone missing again so uh, I mean, when we got the last build of beta, audio beta for Nokia 3, Nightlight feature arrived with that build and it was compatible, <coughs> compatible and working fine. But for some reason, HMD has removed it. So that is not uh, really, really very encouraging good thing. But again, audio is an update which brings lots of new features and changes, not one or two. There are many new changes and features and there are performance improvements as well over Nogat. <coughs> so if you have been on Nogat, you will notice lots of differences you will also notice uh, you know significant improvement in performance but if you are on a oreo beta because nokia 3 got the oreo beta belts earlier <clears throat> so if you if you were on oreo beta you would notice very you know less minor differences from beta to stable so maybe like some rough edges were smoothened some bugs were crushed but not nothing uh, more dramatic <clears throat> so first let's talk about uh, you know we will take a tour of what is new with the audio so it will be a quick tour because you can actually go and check our article where we have kind of uh, you know enlisted all the changes and new features that audio brings and you can also notice that we have demoed all uh, you know changes and features in detail in our hands-on video now what audio brings is like uh, lots of you know changes uh, in 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 terms of uh, notification action center notification center it is totally revamped action center notification center if you have been on nogat you will notice that <clears throat> the all the this quick action like uh, the edit button the settings etc has moved to bottom this has got a new look which is quite good even there are changes in you know nature of this uh, mobile data or like the wi-fi etc so this does not take you the settings it will just on and off etc so even the animations that you see are like a bit different now another very important changes or noticeable changes that you will uh, see on stable is when you go to the settings you will see the settings have been totally revamped it it now has got you know headings or major settings like network and network then under that you will see the sub you know sub settings or sub uh, headings like wi-fi data usage etc etc and it has happened for all the settings so it's quite neat earlier you had a long page which was like not intuitive you know long scrolling obviously nobody likes it so now it has been made quite good easier convenient you have the search feature here which helps you so it was obviously present on Nogat, but here everything looks a bit neat a bit better so you have this network and internet and under that you have lots of settings here if you go to connected devices again you have the similar you know all bluetooth nfc printing etc similarly if you go to apps and notification you will see lots of changes and there is one more difference so you have app info notification app permissions then you have this advanced under the advanced there are some advanced you know settings I'll tap on this, you'll see default apps, emergency broadcast, special app access. So this kind of you know changes are here which are really really helpful. You know, if you go to the battery, let's go to the battery. I would quickly like you to see here this battery saver, path percentage, adaptive brightness. So these all settings are available here, which actually helps you in. Uh, you know i mean managing your battery much better and trust me that oreo is much better than nogat in terms of battery performance it's really good and it's not only for nokia 3 even other devices which have uh, got oreo uh, we have the same kind of feedback from users that it has like brought much better battery life for them if you go to storage 
you will again notice lots of difference in how the story used to be shown on Nogat and how it is being shown in Oreo. Security and location, then user account, accessibility, everything has changed. Lots of changes are there. Now, if I go to, okay, let's go to uh, system. You will see that this backup and resets are different options. This is one thing that I always wanted to highlight. So backup has got much better options now. You know, content, app, data, call history, device settings, so detailed. You know what is being backed up. So that is something which is very, very good, very important. Then you have this reset and reset has got many options. Again, network setting, reset is different, app preferences, then factory data reset. So it's all enhanced. So as I was telling you that Oreo is a very good uh, major update, which brings lots of usability improvements. So all the settings have been revamped and you can see lots of options are different. Backup and reset has been enhanced, etc, etc. If you go to Action Center, you will notice lots of changes, I, as I said. And now one thing that obviously needs to be highlighted is notifications and apps. So there are lots of changes in terms of notifications and not only changes, these are enhancements that improve your usability again. So if I go to the uh, notification, you see this is called notification dot. Notification dot are something which highlight that an, an app has got some notification to show it to you and it, it shows it on the uh, lock, I mean on, on this uh, home screen. So I would try to give you a glimpse of the dot but I don't think currently I have anything. So what I will do, I'll go to the Play Store. Mm -hmm. My apps and games. And I will quickly try to download something, maybe. So I start it, uh, start to install it. I'll send you to the background. And as soon as a notification uh, will be shown, I'll tell you what is notification dot. So that will be a demo for you now. Going back to apps and notifications again. So as I was telling you, there are lots of, uh, you know, important enhancement in terms of notification. You can snooze notifications now. You can not only snooze, you can also, you know, kind of dismiss different kind of notifications. That notifications are categorized. So let's have a glimpse of it, how it is being done and what I'm talking about. So if I go to this Duo app and the notification, you see this notification dot, dot is one important thing as I told you. Now there are categories of uh, notification, uncategorized, call notification, contact update, missed call, new in Duo. So you can choose which notification you want to be shown and which you don't want for any of the apps. This is very, very important feature. I mean, important improvement, enhancement, whatever you can say. It's like your whole uh, usability experience of notification uh, have got a very big uh, kind of enhancement, very big leap, which is equally, I mean, very important. And there is one very uh, cool feature, which is picture in picture. So uh, what it is, I just like to uh, tell you. So if I go to, let's say Chrome, you see this picture in picture mode so what happens that if you are using some app and you haven't uh, you know kind of uh, enable this picture in picture mode if you minimize that app they will be shown in a small window we will just give you a demo so in chrome you saw that picture in picture mode is on so i will go to the chrome let me open one uh, vimeo so So this is one trailer on Vimeo. Now I will play it. I'll maximize it. And when I, so it has started playing. Now I'll send you to the background. And now you can see this is small wind, uh, wind, uh, window for this uh, video this is called picture in picture mode so even if i have minimized the chrome this keeps on playing so this is called picture in picture mode i can increase the size or maximize it if i want and if i again minimize it it will keep on playing here on your home screen so 
even if you are like uh, keep doing your work you can use other apps so i can go to anything i can go to any of the app i can go to um, let's say clock i can use other apps but this will be playing here in a small window so this is what is called picture in picture mode and just wanted to give you an example of how it works for more like which apps are compatible for picture in picture mode you can go and refer to our article where we have listed all the apps which are compatible now for picture in picture mode so you need to <coughs> i mean enable this in settings so as we said if you go to settings here you see this allow picture in picture mode you have to allow it then only it will play if i don't allow it it would not play just now i disallow and it was not uh, playing so as i said i will resume So now see, picture in picture mode. Now there is one more uh, neat feature that I would like to show it to you. So if you uh, long press on your uh, home screen, you can see settings. Now you can go to settings and you can change icon shape. So these are the available icon shapes. System default circle, square, rounded square, square circle, so whatever. And this changes the system, uh, the icon shape for the system apps. And if, if the developer has enabled the support for, I mean, the app, it will also show it here. And yes, so I was trying to show you the notification dot and now we have an example of notification dot here. So if there is one notification, there will be a dot that will be shown over the app. So you can see that there is a dot over this Play Store. That means there is, uh, there is a notification waiting for us, which needs to be uh, seen. So I'll go here and it tells me that. Uh, this uh, app has been installed now what i will do is i'll show you how to snooze so you can see this i can snooze this notification for one hour or more this is also a new feature very important feature and then there are settings that you can disable this category of notification from this app so this is how it works very interesting actually so you can also go to all categories so these are all the categories of notification that uh, the app play store shows and you can choose which you want to be shown and which you don't want to be shown this is how it works so quite interesting as you can uh, understand that uh, uh, this audio brings so many uh, nice very nice features so uh, all other features you can actually we have tried to demo all the major ones and there are many more actually so you can go and refer to our article also check out other hands-on videos now i'll uh, focus more on the performance part so uh, even Nokia 3, I mean Nokia 3 was good in terms of you know handling daily tasks etc. But with Oreo, you will feel a jump in you know performance. It becomes smoother. So like you can see uh, this Play Store, it, it it now opens much faster than it used to be. So we had like complaints from you uh, many owners saying that Play Store does not open that fast as it should be. But here it opens really really very very I mean quite quickly. So that is very interesting if you ask me similarly the browsing has become a bit better if you compare audio also brings you know uh, kind of some changes much better in terms of ram management so even if you had issues with ram management it will feel that it, it has gone better
So now if you try to do multitasking, it all works quite smoothly. So this is what I wanted to highlight the major features uh, that uh, and what Oreo brings a brief demo of them brief or you can say uh, like demo of highlighted features like uh, as I said uh, you know changing icon shape um, then kind of um, the feature like feature in picture and uh, the lots of changes in terms of you know, UI changes settings improvement usability improvement so these are really um, remarkable features when Android Oreo and apart from that, I talked about performance, and performance has gone a uh, has got a jump uh, on Nokia three in terms of uh, you know com as compared to the Android novel. And uh, last but not the least, if you talk about battery life, so battery life has also got uh, improvement. So currently, uh, if you check actually, not only uh, the backup but also the on screen, um, I mean time that has gone lots of improvement. So. Uh, it's quite good actually, what quite stellar battery life you'll get audio and significant jump over novel. So with that, we come to end of this video. So Android, Android Audio not only brings lots of, uh, you know, UI changes, new features, lots of I mean, significant changes, etc. But it also brings significant jump in performance and also good, uh, you know, good uh, battery life improvement. So with that, it's a really valuable uh, update that you will get. So we recommend, highly recommend to go for it. If you are from coming from Nogat, you will really feel lots of changes, feel lots of difference. If you're coming from Beta, it will be like a you know good. You are in the same zone already. So with that, uh, we uh, I mean kind of thank you for watching the video. Hope you have liked the video. Share your thoughts in comments and uh, refer back to Nokia Power's YouTube channel and NokiaPower's for more. Thanks for watching.